All right, so that's it for uh, Chris Matthews. And uh, I'm going to take some inspiration from that um, resignation and apology that we just saw from Chris Matthews on MSNBC. I am not resigning from this show. Um, however, I do have an apology. And I'm going to make this apology uh, not just for myself, but in some part for some of us here as well, right? Um, because I think some people were a little bit more, um, are probably in need of making this apology, but I will do it on your behalf. Several days ago, um, what I, I think it was there, it doesn't matter what day it was. Uh, we made a commitment to you, our audience, that we were going to stop cease showing videos of the decline of Joe Biden. And uh, because we felt like at that point, people had already gotten the message. It wasn't going to be an issue. There was no reason to sort of like hammer this into the ground. At one point, it's gratuitous. But since we're back and Joe Biden is back in play, supposedly, we'll find out more tonight. But after uh, South Carolina and the, uh, the the endorsements that were and we'll talk more about this, apparently uh, paved in some respect by Barack Obama. Um, Thanks, Obama. Well, it's interesting and we're going to talk about this later. It's interesting that Obama sort of orchestrated this, but still won't come out publicly. It, it, it leads me to believe that maybe necessarily Joe Biden isn't the answer. He is he may not be the the ends. He may be the means. Yeah, I mean, but Obama's we, we can, smart. We can talk about that in a bit. And I think probably we'll talk about it with Weigel a little bit. But um, point being is that I want to apologize in advance. We're going to play more uh, videos of Joe Biden's uh, decline because now it becomes relevant. And uh, I will later in the program, I, I may do like a short little um, reiteration of, of when we talk about electability, you know, what you need to ignore about Joe Biden to think that he is going to do well against Donald Trump, or I should say win against Donald Trump. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I will concede this. And in fact, I think it's important to, to, to concede this. It's all a guess, right? It's, it's, it's an educated guess, maybe, but nobody knows. Anybody who tells you with some type of assuredness who's going to win this election, they're wrong. They don't know. They can't know. We saw a candidate win last time who had statistically maybe an 85, excuse me, a 15 to 10 percent chance. So we don't know. But what we do know is this, is that people who follow Joe Biden, who have reported on Joe Biden over the years, say this guy has lost a step. People who were sitting on that stage debating him over the course of this campaign have said things like he's lost a step. Firsthand, I can tell you. And uh, here's Joe Biden. And look, maybe Donald Trump will not exploit this. But here we go. It's time for America to get back up on its feet and once again fight for the proposition that we hold these truths to be self-evident. Sounds corny. Not a joke. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. You know how we talk about it. Are we the people? Folks. Endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights. We've never lived up to that. We've never lived up to that. Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the words, never lived up to it. But we've never, ever before walked away from it. Never. So that silence you heard after it was pretty uh, intense. I mean, it's look, this is the thing. You don't know which uh, Joe Biden's going to show up. But I will tell you this. He, and we'll ask Weigel, he has the lightest campaign um, schedule of anybody. 
it's only going to get more intense if he has to run, uh, you know, against Donald Trump. Um, and we'll see. But just play that one more time. Just isolate that clip if you can. Um, we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go. You know the you know the thing. Yeah. Weird. Uh, and now um, this I did appreciate. He almost sent all of his supporters to go vote uh, on Super Thursday. Look, tomorrow's Super Thursday, Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. Yeah. <laughs> Trump was referencing that in his uh, campaign rally three hours later. Oh, he was. He okay. called it Super Thursday. He's gone, folks. Yeah, I mean, look, the um, uh, uh, I don't know if that's the most important thing about Joe Biden's uh, problems from an electability standpoint, but it sure ain't going to help. It sure ain't going to help.